Just now, actually, during the break, uh, this gentleman actually asked me. He said that, Dennis, just now you say that, you know, now only like uh, how many percent, you know, uh, nine percent of the people, you know, financially free. What if everybody learn from you, everybody become financially free? Then will it become like, you know, too much competition, something like that, right? Will actually be less money, everybody. So actually, I tell him that, sorry, actually money is not a thing. Eh? Money is actually... Money is actually not finite one. It's not finite, you know. Money is actually an idea, actually. Money is actually an idea. And it's in infinite or infinite, you know, whichever way you want to pronounce it. It's actually unlimited one. So actually all of us can become rich. It's not that somebody outside of this room will become poorer, no. Uh, just like I give one example, Three years ago, there was someone set up Facebook, right? So three years later, now he's a billionaire, right? Let me ask you, uh, because he become a billionaire, is it that somebody else become poorer? No, right? Actually, everyone become richer, right? Uh, like I know some of my, get to know some of my long lost classmates through Facebook. So actually, it can, everyone can get rich. This is the situation. So actually, um, Next month, I'll be coming up with a full-day seminar, Master Your Finance, Master Your Destiny. Because in my opinion, like, I'm already financially free. So what do I mean? So like I mentioned is that if I stop working today, actually my business still runs on, the, on its own. Every month, it will still have money coming in to feed my family. So actually, I can disappear from the scene. Uh, my wife will not suffer. So this is actually a full-day seminar that will teach you how to double your income without working harder. How actually you can increase your savings uh, without spending less. Of course, how, also how to plan and design a financial roadmap for yourself. Uh. When you go to one country, uh, when you reach the airport, what's the first thing you take? Uh? The map, right? <laughs> the map of the city, correct or not? You, uh, most of the time, I'll take the map. Or maybe you already prepared the map back in your own country, right? You study the map already. So if you do not have a map, what will happen to you? What's the likely thing that will happen to you? Get lost. That's why so many people are lost in the financial crisis. Why? Because they don't have a financial map. They don't have a financial road map. And some people, what happened? They go to the bank and thought they can trust the bank officer. But six months later, sorry, this person is no longer working with us. So that's what happened when you try to let somebody else help you. Also, uh, be teaching you how you can actually acquire financial intelligence and not fall into uh, scams. Uh. Uh, so, like for instance, how I manage to avoid things like Sunshine Empire. Because I'm a very public person, actually more than 10 Sunshine Empire salesmen talk to me. <laughs> so how can I manage to know it's a, it's a scam even before MAS says it's a scam? And how I manage to do that? And also, I, I will share with you some of the best wealth strategies I learned from Warren Buffett. Anybody uh, do not know Warren Buffett? Raise your hand. So Warren Buffett is the richest man in the whole world right now. But even last year, he lost about 50%. So that's why the Masik say they only lost 30%. <laughs> <laughs> they are still smarter than Warren Buffett. Uh, George Soros. <laughs> Joe Soros is the guy who actually became famous after he attacked the British pound in 92. And of course, after the Asian crisis, he became very famous when Mahathir <laughs> keeps scolding him. Uh, so Jim Rogers, of Jim Rogers is now very famous because he's the American who sold all his US assets and moved to where? Singapore. Moved to Singapore. And who knows, right? Here, he may just be uh, eating char kway teow at the Hawker centre, right? When you go to the hawker centre. So, uh, Robert Kiyosaki and so forth. Of course, some of these people, I did not learn from them like that. Lah. It's not that they teach me this way. Uh, I learn from the books, I learn from uh, whatever they say, whatever they do and so forth. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki, how many of you have heard of Robert Kiyosaki? Yeah, so. Robert Kiyosaki, the problem is everything he teaches is in the US context. A lot of people don't know how to apply in the Singapore context. And of course, uh, Mr. Wee Hong Leong. 
There was once I spoke to Mr. Wee Hong Leong after one seminar. So he came down from the stage. I approached him during tea break and I asked him certain things. In a 10 minutes conversation, I learned more from him than probably reading 10 books. <laughs> Just within that 10 minutes. And of course, I also have uh, learned from a lot of my mentors. All my mentors are all multi-millionaires. And you might wonder why are they willing to teach. Actually, a lot of the rich people are very generous in sharing. But they only want to share with you if they think you are sincere and they think that you are a good person. That means you become rich, you will not become a bad person.